Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another incredible pack smorgasbord for patrons. We have Fishlord and Jarl Kubinson today. Thank you for being patrons. So let's see, we're gonna grab this here and this here for Jarl. And then making a massive sandwich here for Fishlord. All right, so we should have eight packs. Perfect. All right, let's get started here. Thank you for being a patron, y'all. And the patrons get the rares, mythic spoils, and anything over a buck, along with the art cards and anything from the list. Okay, starting off with War of the Spark, we have Goblin Assailant, Makeshift Battalion, Kazmina's Transmutation Vampire Opportunist Steady Aim. Callous Dismissal, Arboreal Grazer, Divine Arrow, Thundering Ceratok, and Jace's Triumph for the Uncommons, Angrath's Rampage, Tybalt Rakish Instigator, so we'll chuck in the Planeswalkers as well, and Command the Dread Horde is the rare, along with a Foil Tamio's Epiphany, and a Forest and Zombie Army. All right, nothing too crazy there. Zendikar Rising, I think we can do better. <laughs> but first, we have a magic minigame. Base Race. Everybody loves their magic minigames, don't they? To which I hear crickets. Okay, moving on. Not sure which way around this goes. But it is a Swamp. Also chucking in another Swamp. Arden Electromancer. Sneaking Guide, a Goblin Rogue, Expedition Champion, Dauntless Survivor, Core Blademaster, Shadow Stinger, Song Mad Treachery, and on the other side we've got the Song Mad Ruins, Core Celebrant, Hagra Constrictor, and a Mythic, yes, Turn Timber Symbiosis. On the other side we have Turn Timber Serpentine Wood. Along with a foil, low mages domination. So that is a mythic. I'm not sure the value right now, but you know what? We ain't complaining. Scooping it up here for y'all. Enjoy the pools. Moving on to Fishlord. Thank you for being a patron. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Let's go. Let's pull the Wandering Emperor today. Fingers crossed, we have Booster Sleuth, is your magic minigame. Along with, that is pretty cool. Not sure what I'm looking at though. This is Bearer of Memory. We also have a Forest, Prosperous Thief, Jukai Trainee, Geothermal Kami, Commune with Spirits, Greater Tanuki, Grafted Growth, Touch the Spirit Realm, Orochi Merge Keeper, Okiba Reckon Raid, and we're going to see the rats in leather jackets. It's Nazumi Road Captain on the other side, and another mythic, Nashi Moon Sages Scion, Welcome Sir, Rat Ninja, Foil Simeon Sling. Okay, so that was a nice pack. Off to a great start with the mythics today. So we will highlight him just here, D&D. &D. So which of these sets in this video is your favourite? And which is your least favourite? I can think of plenty of contenders, so I'm curious how that pans out. We have Gelatinous Cube is the art card. So yeah, don't attempt to eat that because it will eat you quite successfully. And we have a Plains Purple Worm Showcase, Manticore, Spare Dagger, Underdark Basilisk, some Troll, yes, we get trolled at least once in each video, Burning Hands, Chaos Channeler, Bullet, Dungeon Crawler, and Sorcerer Class is the rare, Foil Portable Hole, that's pretty cool. And Dungeon of the Mad Mage with a Goblin, and you get the Goblin token, of course. Strixhaven, so it's all about the dragons and the mystical archives, and is this a list pool? 
It is indeed. What do we get? Venerated Teacher. And what is that set symbol? That is eluding me right now. So if you can illuminate me in the comments below, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, speaking of mystical archives, we have Negate. Along with a forest, expanded anatomy, stone rise, spirit, solve the equation. I think is still over a buck, or chuck it in. Plum the Forbidden, that one as well. Mage Hunter, Access Tunnel, Hall Monitor, Detention Vortex, and Tempted by the Auric is the rare. Along with Mystical Archives, we have Whirlwind Denial, Foil Introduction to Annihilation. Okay. Midnight Hunt. So... Meat Hook Massacre. We have not pulled one of those in a long while. And of course we get trolled with uh, one of those blank cards. I thought that was going to be a list pull for sure. Uh, this dude, he's actually a werewolf in disguise. Tovala Dire Overlord. Also checking in the Island Timberland Guide. Bramble Armor. Candlelit Cavalry. Dawnheart Rejuvenator. Stromkirk Blood Thief, Voldaren Ambusher, Tireless Hauler, Death Bonnet Sprout, Hound Tamer, and Galvanic Iteration for the rare, along with a Foil Blood Tithe Collector. Alright, and I did not forget to flip those cards, I just can't be bothered because there's so many of them and we've seen them all before. Same with this set actually. I think you would rather I got through things quicker. Okay, so we have a Goblin Assassin from the list. So that is not too shabby. Um, here, what on earth is that sinister scene? Curse of Hospitality. Also chucking in the forest. We've got Syncopate, Serpentine Ambush, Dreadlight Monstrosity, Skywarp Scarb, Skulking Killer, Vampire's Vengeance, Mischievous Catgeist, Alluring Suitor, Falconrath Celebrants, and Alchemist Gambit for the rare, along with a Foil Courier Bat. And stay tuned, coming up near the end of the week, we're going to do another box break. So we've got Modern Masters 2015. The one with the cardboard packs. So hoping for some awesome pulls out of that lot. And if you're a patron, just let me know if you're interested in that box break. And I'll hook you up. So Cardheim, we have the Prismatic Bridge. So that looks fantastic. Also chucking in the snow-covered forest. we got a Draugr Thought Thief Grim Draugr. Skull Raid, Carfell Kennelmaster, Raise the Draugr, Frost Augur, Avalanche Caller, Graven Law for the rare, another rare, Cosmos Elixir, Icebind Pillar, and a Foil Skemfar Shadow Sage, and oh, a Dwarf Berserker, he is awesome, so I'll chuck him in as well. Alright, Streets of New Capenna. Was this your most hated set in this video? I think there are a couple of contenders actually. We've got Mysterious Limousine. And that's not the one. No, the, uh, what is it? The hearse is the one, the big hitter. So we'll keep an eye out for that. We've got a Plains, Security Bypass, Waterfront District, Snooping Newsy, Tramway Station, Sleep with the Fishes. Cement Shoes, Courier's Briefcase, Sparrow's Adjudicators, and yes, that is what we're looking for. Jetmere's Garden, we've got a Triome People, Borderless, no less, we'll whack that in the sleeve, and a Mythic, Arcane Bombardment, I think it's a bulk one, but we'll sleeve it up as well. And what is this, another, oh, this is one of those weird foils, Errant Street Artist. Foiling is really hard to see, and that is it. Okay, so get that stuff out of the way, grabbing the sleeves. And we're going to be finishing here with Commander Legends 2. D&D &D Battle for Baldur's Gate. I can hear the groans already, but those groans will turn to cheers 
when we get an ancient copper dragon. So let's hope so. Uh, this guy's like, I'd like a word with you, please. We have Raphael, Fiendish Savior, followed by a Swamp, Moss Diamond, whoops, skipping over, Lulu, Loyal, Holyphant, Psychic Impetus, Martial Impetus, Parasitic Impetus, Shiny Impetus, okay, we've got them all today, Skenos, Dragonheart, Dragon Cultist, Corlesa, Scale Singer, and okay, that was not a rare, and Mirim Sentinel Worm is the rare, along with Feywild Visitor. And you know what? I should go through here and put the legendaries in, so we'll do that. We did get a dragon here, a foil etched Ganax Astral Hunter, and Sculpted Sunburst, another rare, Foil Zentarum Bandit, and a weird looking Sapling. Okay, we'll check him in as well. So the legendaries, these two, three, did I miss any others, four, all right, so a nice haul here for Fish Lord. Uh, the highlight, I'm going to give it to the rat, uh, you might think the triome is the better pull, and you may be right, but I just prefer the awesome rat, and there we go, for Fish Lord, enjoy the pulls. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.